I have actually not noticed, and I've only noticed it the other day, I put some Instagram stories, I've lost a bunch of weight. A considerable amount. Now, most of it has probably been off the back of me spending the last, it feels like a month or so, you know, suffering from back-to-back illnesses, right? I had to issue my tonsils and then the last thing I had to get over was a really gnarly sinus infection. So effectively, I've been having to just drink loads of water, keep away from anything like, you know, dairy, um, keep keep anything from like dairy, not really eat that many carbs, loads of legumes, loads of kimchi, loads of all that kind of good shit, right? And loads of obviously fluids. So it's maybe kept me a little bit lean in terms of that way. But I just noticed the other day, and again, it's weird how weight loss works, isn't it? Because I think I mentioned on this podcast quite often that I've been really up and down on my weight for a long time, ever since I was probably like 18 or something, right? It's always been up and down, up and down like Oprah. And for the most part, it's been good because what it does is that it gives me the self-confidence to know that I can lose it if I get big. But it's also been bad because as the years progress and the older you get, the harder it is to lose it. So even though I know I've done it seven times or 80 times beforehand, every time I do it, it gets harder and harder and harder to do, which is probably why it's beneficial for you to stay at a decent kind of stable weight that you can maintain or to try and keep yourself at the peak fit fitness, f- your fit fit kind of goals or health goals. And then if you end up dipping, you end up dipping. But trying to yo-yo up and down all the time is really not good long-term for your health, ment- mental, your mental health either. And just in general, it just gets harder. It really, really is difficult to do. And this is somebody, this is coming from a guy who I feel like I have a lot of um, willpower. I have a lot of um, self drive. I don't need anybody to kind of you know wake me up in the morning, tell me to go to the gym. I don't need anybody to tell me not to eat a certain thing. I, I can kind of you know motivate myself in that regard. And even I struggle a bit. So I can only imagine what regular people who probably need a bit of encouragement, need a reason or whatnot, and don't you know, end up doing it and why they don't end up doing it. it makes complete sense to me in that regard. But randomly, I was getting ready to go out, maybe just to shops or something, and I was passing the toilet when I was kind of in my you know get myself moisturized and stuff and I did have my t-shirt on and I noticed straight away damn my belly looks completely different to how it did look prior at the beginning of like lockdown or maybe 2022 or whatnot I don't know what the dates were so I ended up just taking a picture of it and then I ended up going through my phone I thought hold on let me go through my phone I'm pretty sure I've got pictures of myself at my biggest right and I did take a picture of myself side by side which I'm going to upload in the podcast if you're watching the view if you're viewing the podcast you'll see if you're not obviously you won't unfortunately but Essentially, I took these two pictures. One is, I think, 2020 to, you know, um, really early on in the year or something, or maybe late 2021. And obviously, the one like, on the right will be the one that's most recent. And there's a clear difference in terms of the f- how big my belly is. Of course, I'm not incredibly ripped like I'd want to be. But in terms of where I've come from and where I am now, it's completely crazy. It's also nuts, like I said beforehand, that I kind of noticed it in passing. Um, and you know i wasn't really paying much attention to it and it all made sense because a lot of my clothes now fit a bit different my trousers you know are coming over my considerable large ass a little bit easier and it's just generally nice because a lot of the quote-unquote fashion clothes that i've had for ages that i didn't necessarily fit in are now starting to fit me again which has always been my kind of main reason or modus operandi for kind of staying trim and in shape number one was try to you know fuck more girls and number two was to make sure that i all could wear cool clothes that's always been my main game and just in terms of just the vanity of just you know liking looking at myself in the mirror that i'm kind of in some sort of trim shape but it's weird how that stuff happens so i don't know if it was a result of just me being sick or if it was kind of always going to happen this way and just now the results are starting to kind of show through because i've been consistent with going to the gym for the most part you know i'd say minimum i've been going three times a week sometimes maybe one which is not really often but sometimes minimum is always three and then max is sometimes six where i go all the time consistently which doesn't obviously include going to flipping outside and going to run and whatnot or going on my bike to go and cycle for half an hour all those things have been super important and you know maybe actually thinking about it the bike might have been the little key because i did get a bike a while ago a little single speed bike that i kind of take with me every time i'm going to the gym not not much of a cycle it's like you know two minutes around the corner but in general what i do end up doing sometimes after the gym is i'll just jump on the bike and just end up riding for half an hour extra and then go to the park sit down watch pe- people watch this the music and then cycle back in half an hour so all those little things you don't really notice they kind of add up to the point where now it's kind of you know i'm at this stage now where i kind of liking what i'm seeing in terms of the mirror liking what i'm seeing in terms of how i fit into clothes so i haven't weighed myself I don't know exactly what the number is if i had to guess i'd imagine at my heaviest i might have been like 260 
maybe 270 who knows pounds and now i would say i'm probably about 240 i'm gonna say i'm probably 240 maybe 250 ish so i kind of want to get down to my goal weight which is i think i can walk around pretty comfortably around the 200 to the 220 mark of course i'd love to be 190 pounds more more days than not but you know i like croissants too much so probably won't be possible for the long term but if i can keep myself within the 200 to 220 bracket in general i think that's a pretty decent because to lose 20 pounds in a month or in a couple of months is pretty okay but to go from losing 260 pounds plus over a couple of months all the time it takes a lot of work and something that i don't necessarily want to put my body through because you know t trying to run on the streets like trying to do a 5k when you're 260 270 is brutal because i've run them when i'm 180 right i've run them when i'm 180 pounds i've run them when i was at my lowest year which was maybe 183 so to try and run that same 5k when you're you know 100 pounds plus is just crazy um i don't want to do this with my body again because it's brutal it hurts everywhere you, you end up running on the street breathing like a flipping um water buffalo it's just horrible 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 and um yeah i'd much rather kind of stick myself in that bracket because i think 20 pounds is a far more easier thing to lose and of course 100 pounds and i just think in general 200 to 220 kind of suits my frame my build a lot better but i'm really over the moon about that i'm going to be honest like one of the main things i wanted to do during this whole time of the pandemic and stuff was to lose weight i went to obviously read a lot of books i went to obviously learn a language and sharpen up my spanish or my german or my french but that didn't happen so i got one thing done so i'm happy about that and obviously for the most part with me being a fashion kid and me being a vain kid with me being into image and all that good stuff it's just nice to be able to kind of fit back into all the clothes that i love in my wardrobe that i've kind of spent a lot of money and time buying because that's one thing i didn't want to have to start doing going out there and trying to buy like plus size clothing and shit because you know i decided that i went to gorge out during the pandemic and i didn't couldn't be bothered to go and just you know go to the gym and shit because it's one thing if i accepted my body and stuff but i didn't want to because i knew it only came about because for the most part i was incredibly sad and somewhat depressed during the majority of the pandemic because i didn't have a job and stuff and i was just wallowing in self-pity and of course i just let myself go i'm not gonna blame the job too much because that's an excuse i just let myself go i mean i was at home just you know sometimes in the week i'd order uber eats three times in the week and shit like it's just horrendous so luckily that's now stopped and i'm now in a far more active um positive sort of mindset going forward and yeah i'm just over the moon i really am over the moon it's just weird how different those little things can what difference such a trivial thing can do for your overall outlook on life like what losing weight is not the biggest deal in the world it's not going to move a mountain it's not that inspiring because everyone does it whatever whatever it is what it is but just personally it can really shift your mood very quickly similar to what a quick run can do or going to a gym for half an hour to an hour can do or maybe having a really healthy breakfast these little tiny things that you don't necessarily think too much of um, can actually contribute to your overall mood for the long term do you know what i mean in terms of the day in terms of the week in terms of the month the year it's, it's just incredible what those things do so i don't know if you are struggling with that sort of stuff and you need some encouragement then i think you should take it from me because especially if you've been watching this podcast for a while you know i was an absolute lard ass for the most part of it especially in the beginning of the pandemic so you can actually just go back through my videos and check you to see you know how crazy i look so it's great to finally be at this sort of point now going forward that i can kind of finally look myself in the mirror and not be pissed off that i don't look like an absolute troll so that's actually good to see and i'm over the fucking moon about it